Google is always taking privacy of consumers very seriously, so I'm sure they'll figure out the right things to do. So you moved from Facebook to Google, which is almost like the reverse of what well, many people Well, I was at Google do. first, oh, then Facebook recruited me, and then I went back to, to Google after that. Why? Uh, well, I went to YouTube. And so YouTube, as you know, is a huge, huge online video destination. And at the time, it was not, not the size that it is today, but it was a huge opportunity, and I thought it was a great time to go. And now you've been a venture capitalist for a year, but you were investing year, personally yes. for a long time before that. Yes. Where are you placing your bets? Well, mostly on the consumer side, internet, mobile, marketplace, data, um, this general ecosystem. So what, what are the trends that are exciting you? Well, one thing that's obvious uh, to, to everyone, I think, is mobile. And one of the things that you're seeing more and more of is consumers expecting the mobile device to be remote control for their lives. So click on anything and expect it to arrive. Um, a couple of portfolio companies that are really exciting to us, one of them is Topingo, and it's mobile commerce, starting with universities, uh, starting with food ordering. So the use case is, Emily, you and I are seeing in calculus class, we're hungry. I order using Topingo. And what happens is we get our calculus class, I skip the line. I pick up my food, and you're waiting in line for 15 minutes. And you say, how did Ben get his food? So what happens the next day? You use Topingo. So Topingo is on 25, 30 college campuses, large campuses like USC, Santa Clara, uh, NYU, so what on and so forth. What happens though when everyone's using Topingo and well, everyone's trying to Well, here's, here's what happens. So, but on average, half the student body uses Topingo every day. So what happens here is there's an increased efficiency for everyone, right? So average order values go up, total revenues go up, and then also uh, the students are extremely, extremely happy with this. So this is uh, you know, one, one big trend that we're seeing. Um, another mobile commerce that we're excited about is called The Hunt, um, and it's a visual search company, and it's starting with uh, search with uh, women's fashion. So it's solving the use case of, I love your outfit, where did you get it? Now women take photos of from, from Pinterest, uh, Facebook, Instagram, so on and so forth, and put those photos on the hunt. Mm -hmm. And they say, where can I find exactly this outfit, something that matches this outfit, or something that is like this outfit. And the I community members go out and find that item. So Vinod Kosla, the founder of Kosla Ventures, yeah. you know, he's famous for his, his investment theory, and he likes to invest in black swans, or companies that have a very high chance of failing. How does your philosophy align with his? You know, I think that what we like to invest in is companies that have very, very good initial tra market traction and then have the ability to be, have breakout success. And so that generally is our, our theme. So, you know, having worked at Google, having worked at Facebook, you're trying to find companies, little companies, that can disrupt these big companies. Is there anything that could really disrupt Facebook at this point? Well, what think, are the chances? I think the question here is more about innovation generally. And when you look at innovation and disruption, it generally comes from the places you least expect it. And so what we're looking at is looking at companies that are solving a real problem for consumers, solving it very well with the opportunity to expand. So 10 years from now, are Facebook and Google as dominant as they are today? I think that you'll see just like, so Microsoft is dominant, quote unquote, <laughs> Google is dominant, Facebook is dominant, but you'll see in every one of these cycles, new, new, uh, new uh, Goliaths emerge. And where do you think those Goliaths will come from? Well, hopefully our portfolio Who, companies. Who's an up and coming Goliath? Well, one that, uh, that we, one of our portfolio companies is Square. And Square, though, has been tremendous. facing a lot of challenges lately. Well, they've actually been doing quite well from a product expansion standpoint. So from a merchant standpoint and getting consumers adoption uh, with a variety of new product sets, um, I would bet on that company. So how dominant do you think they'll be in, in mobile payments? Well, time will tell.